Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm glad for you to be here. Please stick around. I am a channel that basically focuses on beauty and skincare at a budget friendly, affordable type of prices. And also, if you're a current subscriber, hey, what's up? I see you out there. So stay tuned to my videos. Today I want to focus on some new products that I discovered in Target that has been released early. I want to think early this year. It was approximately one week to two weeks ago that I bought these products. And the products that I will be talking about today and doing a first impression review is from the CoverGirl line. And... It consists of four products that I purchased, and the first product that I will be talking about will be the CoverGirl New Lid Lockup Eyeshadow Primer with the number 100 Universal. So this is a universal shade. It's an all-day crease-proof shadow security type of primer. This primer primer retails for $7.99 and also additional claims is it maximizes wear and intensity of shadows and dries quickly. So all the claims are on the back of the packaging and this is what the front of the packaging looks like. So your standard package, black and white, very sleek minimalistic type of packaging there is 2.2 fluid ounces 6 milliliters of product and uh, yeah so there is ingredients in which I was just briefly looking over so that's the primer and then the next product that I bought is the CoverGirl True Naked Eyeshadow Palette and Smoky. CoverGirl already has additional eyeshadow palettes within the True Naked collection. I want to think there's approximately three already in this collection. This is the newest of the collection and it is in Smoky. This is what the packaging looks like. So let me go up closer to you guys so you can see what it looks like. And inside you get a sponge tip applicator, which is very interesting because one end there is this rounded spool type sponge for your eyeshadow. And this is more of a pointed sponge, which I'm assuming is to line your eyes, like tight line for liner or to blend not sure but i'll assume maybe to line um if you're using an eyeshadow for tight lining so that's very interesting i've never seen a sponge tip brush like that and these are what the shadows look like inside of the packaging i go up real close so this is more of a cool tone type palette again for those who enjoy a nice smoky eye and then on the back of the packaging, you have information about the shadows and also three different looks that you can create from this palette. Do you see that? And there is 6.5 grams of product, which equals to 0.23 ounces within this palette. And... The price for this palette is $9.99, contains matte, shimmers, and sparkly eyeshadows, um, specified for any skin tone, and it is considered the multicolored palette. So all this information I gathered from the Target.com website, so you can go on there to view it, or also on CoverGirl.com to look at additional information about this palette so we will be doing a demo with this eyeshadow and then the next thing that I bought is the new CoverGirl P 
Peacock Flare Mascara. And it looks like this. So this Peacock Flare Mascara is priced at $7.89 at Target. Comes in eight colors, including waterproof and a scream wear. So I purchased the 795 Jet Black. And there with the packaging is very colorful. I really like the colorfulness of this reflective type of packaging. Almost like if you were looking at the peacock feathers and sometimes when you're looking at the feathers, there's almost like a reflective coat to their feathers. Um, I love the eye finish that they use as a advertising marketing strategy to attract customers who are looking at the packaging. Um, the mascara looks very sleek. It says that, well, we'll read the information, so I just want to show it to you. So when I get to it, then we'll read further on the packaging, if I remember to do that. So moving on, and I also bought a Lippy, the CoverGirl Milton Pot Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Supermodel with the code 350. So this is what it looks like. It looks very blue in the bottle. And this Melting Pot Matte Lipstick priced at $6.99 on Target.com. There's a total of 12 colors. And they are intensely pigmented, gel cream, not sticky or tacky. And compared to $20 liquid lipsticks. So that is the claim. So we will be testing out this liquid lipstick also. So I have already applied my foundation and I'm ready to go. Um, starting with my lid lock up eyeshadow primer from CoverGirl. So we're going to put this on my eyelid. So the packaging is very sturdy. You have to basically break down the packaging all the way down to get the primer out. And once the primer out, again, this minimalistic black and white packaging. And this is what the color of the primer looks like, if that focus for you. So I'm just going to take the wand apply some on my eyes for each side and it blends right into my skin I'm going to see if it has that dry quickly feel into it So, so far it does feel like it does dry fairly quickly. Yeah, it does dry down. So I'm going to put some in my lower lash line because I also want to be able to tight line in this area. So I do prime when I'm going to put some color in my lower lash line. And I like that this has a sponge applicator. That way I could just take the sponge and go under my lower lash line or above my lower lash line. Like especially if I like to make sure I get a lot of color close to my lash line. I can make sure I prime close to it because some primers you have to either dip into a pot or take your brush and dip into a pot or squeeze to out your primer so I like when primers come with a sponge tip 
which makes it very easy to get the product in areas where you want concentration. So I have primed my eyes. So I'm going to jump in and do the True Naked Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetic Roll Gold Brush Set brushes. I'm going to start off with this blending brush. And um, there's only three mattes that I see in this palette. So they look like there's possibly three mattes or maybe one matte, two satins, and maybe five shimmers. But there's more shimmers than there is matte and satin. So I'm just going to set my base of my eyelids going in with this beige color here. So there's white base or creamy base here. And as I was picking up product, there is a lot of product kicked up when I got the pigments from the from the well I'm getting tongue tied from the palette so be aware that there is some kick up so I'm just gonna use this color to be a base for my eyeshadows so I'm not gonna be too perfect with it just Make sure I line, line in some colors. And make sure there's enough coverage in this area. So it actually looks like a white. This is like an off-white, almost creamy color. Not quite beige, but definitely there's an off-white. And sometimes I notice palettes will put that in there to help you with colors especially color help colors to stand out more so they will increase those colors intensity when they're just a natural base to be used so I hope you all can see that so far So I've set my eyelids, so there is a lot of, I just blew on the the palette to try to get back some powder. So there is a lot of kick up. So I'm going to use this like slate, I guess it's called slate, this gray matte shade here, matte or satin. We'll see when I apply it. I'm going to use that as a crease shade. So I'm going to go in my crease starting from the outside and we're going to move inward so I'm going to blend that in so I think that last color I applied does apply nicely to cover the area and this is a nice I would say a nice cool tone gray shade definitely seems like it's on like the gray taupe spectrum which is pretty nice. I'm just going to go in, make sure there's coverage in that area. And a lot of the color, because of the shape of my eye, likes to sit right into the fold of my eyes. If you can see that, it likes to sit right in there. That's where most of all the color concentrates in that area. I'm just gonna make sure I'm blending nice 
and smoothly. smoky palette. So, let's go over to the next eye. And one thing that does concern me about the palette while I'm using this shadow is that it will you will end up losing more pigment because of the kick up in the shadow when you dip your brush into the palette some of the pigment because it kicks up so much it spills over into the shadows next to it which can if that's a pet peeve for anyone can become a pet peeve because the colors the colors are jumping in each ch in each other tray, if I should say. But other than that, the color does blend very well into my skin. If y'all can see that so far, I lean in a little bit closer. So it's a nice gray, again, like a taupey cool tone especially for you all who love to cool cool tone shades get that out right cool tone you really like your cool tone shadows this is a beautiful i would say it's a matte so as i was continue to do the inner part of my eyes with the gray shade which is, I think it's called Slate again. Not Slate, but I don't know what the shimmer gray color is. I was just relaying on the colors on the back of the packaging. And let's see. It would be nice if they, if CoverGirl, they create another True Naked palette label, create their palette where they could put labels like a name to their shadows. Because I like shadows to have a name, which they do have a name. However, when I'm having to show you all what shade colors I'm using, I have to point to them. So, it looks like they do have shade names, but they're on the back of the packaging, which I just show you right now. So, this is the back of the packaging. You flip over, and these are the names of the shadows that are in this true naked smoky palette so that one color that i just used i think it is called slate no yes i think it's called slate and then that last color i just used in my crease as the transition shade it's called Ignite, Ignite Inflame, or Inflame, I don't know, maybe that's the French name for Ignite, so Inflame is French for Ignite, so I apply Ignite in my transition crease shade, and I just applied Slate in my, on my eyelid from the inner corner to the mid portion of my eyelid. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Mist, which is this purple shade in the, pal in the palette, which is this shade here. So I'm going to apply that on my eyelid with a shader brush, Rose Gold BH Cosmetic Brush. I'm just going to apply that shimmer shade because it looks like a nice deep 
slimy shade and there's a lot you only need a little bit and notice with the shimmers there's not a lot of kick up it's just a lot of kick up with the matte shades so you only need a little bit and that shade is really I think a really nice shade I'm just going to blend that in with that gray. And it's so plummy that I think it blends right in with slate. But as I look down, I'm still looking at slate in my transition. And I still see some patchiness there. So we're going to go back in and touch that up. There just is, when you pick up some of these shimmer, there is a little bit of, just a little bit of fallout. It may fall in front of you, like on your vanity, where you may be applying your makeup. So be aware of that. I just want to touch this up. As I, as I look down. As I'm applying this, I can see a little bit of patchiness. So, I like for my mats to really have full coverage when I apply them. So, test that up. So, going back with the purple shimmer. I don't, there is some shimmer, I don't see a lot of that particle on my eye, but I am applying it to my eye to give a little smoke dimension in the outer corner. And the colors do move around, they do move down to the bottom part of at least my eye, so there is some fallout. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to clean that up a little bit so it don't start sticking to that part of my eye. And I know as I do that I take away some of my foundation in that area which is cool it is what it is so I'm going to go over to the other eye and apply that into the outer crease from the mid part of my eyelid to my outer crease so hopefully you all can see that what that looks like. I think it's always so fun to layer multiple shades over the eyelid and just give some definition but some play with the eyeshadow colors, especially when there's variety of them across your eyes. So I'm just going to take a more pointed taper blending brush. And concentrate a little bit more depth. So I'm going to go between Ignite and also Mist. Go back and forth to just give that sharp definition in that area. Because I kind of feel like... Mist gives more of the definition on its own. So I just add just a little bit of mist 
in that core and then I'm just going to concentrate mid into that part of my eye and I think this brush really helps with detailing in that color to go inward and kind of add some depth to the outer region of my eye and I went out a little bit more than I wanted to but we can clean that up let's unfinish I just want to add some depth in that that crease mesh is nice and smoky Definition is definitely everything when it comes to an eye look. And then I will blend in everything. So, let's go in and start blending in. I'm taking the same brush I used. To apply my crease, transition crease shade, kind of blend everything out. And then I'll just touch up a little bit more of slate. So that was a night and mist that I was touching up in my outer corner of my eye. So I'm going to go back in with slate just to give a little bit more definition so you can tell the difference from the two shades. very important to be able to see the difference in these shades. So I just tap that on, kind of stroke it, and then tap in place and then gently I have food particles on my clothes so my camera died the battery died so I had to wait a little bit in, in between waiting I got to snacking and had food particles on my clothing. Okay. So that pretty much covers the eye and then we're going to do the inner corner highlight and then we're going to do a lower lash line. I may do an upper lash line but we're going to think about it. So let me clean this up and I will come back. So I am back. So, so far this is what my eye looked like. So I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line and probably my top lash line. And let's look at what shade I'm going to be using because I need to flip over and see what color I will be using. So let's go in with the color Jet. 
and that is the preferred color that is identified as the liner shade so I will, will be using this black matte shade here again it is called jet as the liner shade so I want to I will be using my Morphe M408 shader smudge brush to smoke out my lower lash line and my top. So I'm going to do my top first and I'm just going to smudge it. Just smudge it, smudge it into my top lash when I get as close as possible to to my lashes, lashes. Just for some depth. Take it to the bottom, smoke it out. So that's what it looks like so far. So smoke it out. I really like Jet. It is a nice, I feel like it's a nice soft black matte shade. It's not too intense, but I'm sure you can build it up if you want to. But for this look, I'm just going to keep it very soft looking. So I'm going to get a type line. I think it's cool that palettes do include a nice black too tight line and use as a liner. Or if they're not going to use a black, a deep rich chocolate brown. Some deep shade that most skin tones can use as a liner. And that is what it looks like. I really like Jet. So far I am. I like these colors in this palette. There is, you know, just a slight cons. You know, the slight cons are, you know, some fallout. A little bit of kick up in the Astra eyeshadow pan. A little bit of fallout around the eyes. But it's durable. It's really pretty colors. Give that really nice smoky look especially for you know a night on a town or you know for that special event you know it does give a really nice look to it. I feel really elegant I love I just love smoky looks that is my cup of tea I love it to look mysterious when it comes to smoky eyes so let's look into a inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to smoke it out, leave it black at the bottom. And let's go in with a color for the inner corner highlight. 
So hopefully you all can see all the four shades that I've used so far on my eye. I lean in a little bit closer. So I do love this color. So I'm going to use Looks like there's food that I must have got off my clothing into my eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to use this shade here, which is called, I want to think it's called Ember. I'm going to use that because I think that is designated as a glow, basically as a highlighting type color. So it's called Ember. And it's this beautiful, like, pearl almost like pearlescent but I'm sure it's a nice shimmer shade or satin we'll see oops got some on my clothing that I was trying to tap off so I'm just gonna go in to my tear duct and just give a little bit of highlight Just a little bit, not too much. So. It gives a nice, like, beautiful, like a soft, almost like a soft champagne -y color, but it almost like very dual chromey almost. The very, I think, nice for an inner corner highlight shade. And go over in here. And since I've been playing around with the inner corner highlights. I've been having a lot of fun using them as a look. This really gives a additional kiss to your your eye look. So hopefully you all can see that. I was just trying to make sure it was even on both eyes before I move on to I told myself I'm gonna just use a little bit so it looks like I'm using a lot and there was a little piece that just fell onto the table in front of me so that's that Not completely the same on each eyelid, but it's there. So, I have completed my eyeshadow look. So, let's go in with the Peacock Feather. Or, I shouldn't say feather. But, it does say it has a feather fan. The Peacock Flare Mascara. And let's see how that works. So again, here is the packaging of it. This is in jet black. So the packaging feels it's not heavy, so it's not. I don't feel like it's metal. It must be just like hard plastic with some rubber rubber tip on the dimension of the packaging. So these are rubber tips. And then down here this feels like hard black plastic, flashy, turquoise blue, teal type color to the packaging. And then the brush looks like this. So, it says it's a feather fan brush. It doesn't really look like that to me. Hopefully the autofocus will focus that for you. 
but it does have like this cylinder type shape of in the center of the mascara so we'll see how it, how it looks I don't know the technology of it and why the shape of the wand has the middle part but maybe the middle part of the wand where it's more cylinder because it goes in almost like a helix maybe adds a little bit more depth so it feathers out your eyelashes but it's supposed to give that intensity because I want my lash to look like a peacock I want it to fan out and be beautiful to the world So as the claim says that this this mascara is supposed to have a control grip, which it does. You can control it in your hand very well. Full fan of thick, lush lashes. So far, I do feel like it does give some volume to the lashes. Definitely fans them out. I kid you not, every time I put on mascara, I blink my eyes. And when I blink my eyes, it makes my corner of my eyes water. So let's go in. And the brushes are where you can get in there. Get in there for... But just be careful because if you get in too deep... It can leave some of the mascara on your on your lid like I just did. And I was trying to wipe away. But so far I like the mascara. I think it's really nice. I do think it's really black because again I have black lashes. So if I could see my lashes and it looks like it has strong definition to it and especially in terms of pigmentation then it is a really black mascara so that's what it looks like so far come in closer so definitely a nice mascara my eyes are watering from poking my eye on that side, my lower lashes. So we gotta fix that. Fix that because I'm not trying to have it. So let me just dot at that area. This is just a tearjerker response to me poking my eye with the mascara so be careful with that and let me let me try to smudge that in so So that was the mascara. So it says that it is supposed to have that feather fan brush that catches, coats, and separate each lash. So I do think it does separate each lash. It does coat it well. And it does have that feather fan lash to my eyes, I feel. So let's go in and start working on the lips. I'll give my final thoughts after I've completed everything. So I'm going in with Supermodel. Again, the color is 350 because you know how I love my blue lips. So let's go in and apply this color. And they're supposed to be, again, eight, not eight, I'm sorry. They're supposed to be 12 colors of the Melting Pout Matte Lipstick. And there are eight 
colors for the CoverGirl Peacock Flora Mascara. We can have a bit of variation. So this color to me does remind me of a peacock feather. It has that, it's blue, but it's almost like a, it's almost like a teal color. So it's blue, but then it feels like it almost has like a green, depending on your lighting. It can look like a different shade. And I do think you have to layer this on, but be careful layering it on because it can start. I say to layer it on, but let it dry in between your layers so it gives it a smooth application that it doesn't rub off the other layer that's already on there before you apply it. There is some patchiness there, at least for this color. So I'm just going to let this layer dry, and if I need to touch up, I will. But I'm just going to go ahead and start sharing my final thoughts about the products. Normally, I will put some blush or some highlight, but I just want to specifically just focus on these four products um, from the CoverGirl line. If they had released a highlight, which CoverGirl doesn't have any highlights, do they? CoverGirl, you need to step your game up and get us a highlight, please. Uh, release a highlight for us and if there is a highlight and I don't know about it please somebody share that information with me but as far as I know there's not a highlight from this brand um, so let's go into my final thoughts so starting off with the eye primer which is the lock lid eye lid lock sorry lid lock up eye primer I do like this primer this primer does dry quickly like it says I do think it does help with the colors of the mascaras not mascara already on my mind is on mascara as I'm looking at myself um, it does help with intensity of the shadows however there is still some um, just slight pigmentation issues with the one particular or two particular eyeshadows but I get into that when I talk about the eyeshadow palette but as far as it locking in it does lock in it does dry down quickly I was able to do my eyes without any issues so I do like that and I'm just wiping away because I see colors like just a little bit of smear there um so it does again lock it in so i do like this primer for the eyeshadow palette so i think this is a good primer it'll be interesting to see if this primer also work 
with other eyeshadow palettes, other brands. So that would be interesting, but I know to use this with the CoverGirl True Naked palettes that I do own. So I do like that eyelid primer. And going into the Astro CoverGirl True Naked Smoky Palette, I do like this palette. I do think this is a nice eyeshadow palette for a night on the town again for events for you know gatherings engagement anything that you got to get dolled up i do think this is a good go-to palette and i do think it has a variety of smoky shades that you can use and intermix i do really like that the price for it Mm, it's a bit steep because it's $9.99. I think this palette would do more with in the price range of like $6.99 to maybe $8.99 at the most. But definitely get this, you know, if you have a coupon for CoverGirl and for if you see coupons for like this particular palette or the new CoverGirl products, definitely take advantage of that your coupon and use it to these purchases. I don't think $9.99 is bad for a drugstore palette, especially a palette that comes with eight shades, so that's not bad. I know mostly all the eyeshadow palettes, especially currently, are pricing their eyeshadow palettes at $9.99. So the drugstore prices are continuing to grow, but we're hoping for 2018 that they would stay within the reasonable price for us drugstore girls who love to buy a good quality palette but not break their pocket to own that palette. So I do think it gives you a nice variety of matte shades. You do have the three mattes. You have like three sparklies and like two shimmers. You do get your highlighting shade here which is amber, you know, to highlight your brow bone, highlight your inner corner highlight for your eyes. And uh, you probably can even use it to highlight other parts, like maybe your nose, the bridge of your nose. But I wasn't going to go that far with it. So I do like it. I would recommend this palette. But do be aware, some of the shades, like... Um, I think this is infinite. It does concentrate heavy into, especially those who have like double eyelids. Um, it will concentrate into the fold of your eyelids. Um, uh, but it's a nice, beautiful, plummy, gray, taupe type shade. It does definitely give that mysterious, you know, illusion look to it. I really like that. Um, definitely, I encourage you to use, um, the last shade. Here, I think it's glow. They say to use glow like to highlight areas, which you probably could, but definitely use this as a all over eyelid base. That's what I did for this look to just give your color a nice place to um, start from, you know, just be able to even intense those colors even more. So, and I really love the color Jet in this palette. It, it really smokes out nicely along the lash lines. And I do like um, Mist, which is that nice plummy purple shade. It does give a nice intensity in the outer crease. So all the colors that I use play very well together. Again, there is some kick up with the mattes. A little bit of fallout with the shimmer, but it's not anything to... Um, right off into the sunset as something totally lost it is beautiful and I do recommend this palette and moving on to the mascara I really like this mascara I really do like it I am picky with my mascaras I do like that in true intense black pigmented mascaras I do like it if it makes my eye lashes lengthy but this one also gives it feels like it gives lengthening but also some fullness so it almost looks like I'm wearing false eyelashes but these are my eyelashes so I do like it the wand is very nice like I like the bulkiness of this because you can hold it well like grip it without it sliding out of your hands a nice wand but it is like a 
typical wand. It kind of reminds me of a, like a wand from like Benefit, Real Mascaras. But it has that cylinder, like a helix in the middle to probably help with the fanning out of your lashes. But I really like this. And I like the color shade for that mascara. Moving to my lips, I'm wearing a Supermodel. I do like this lip shade. It's really beautiful. It's a very interesting color. It has that blue tint, but it almost has like a, like a subtle green type feeling. Not too much, but it just depends on the... So, the Supermodel Melting Pot... Melting Pot... Not Pot, but Pout. Melting Pout Lipstick is in a matte formula. It is truly matte. It does start to dry down. It does have this nice gel cream type feeling. Um, as it says, it's not sticky. It's not tacky. And it feels really comfortable on the lips. This is really a unique... <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. This is really in a unique color. And you do have to, only thing about it, you have to layer it a little bit more. Which I'm going to do it because I already applied like two layers. But I'm just going to do a little bit more on camera so you can see what more intensity it can do. But I do notice if you play around it too much and feel like it's moving the colors too much. So I would say just stick to one or two layers of this color so it doesn't pull off any other areas where the color is. But it does. It's really nice. And you only need probably no more two, than two layers with this particular color. So this is what the color looks like. So it definitely looks very blue in the in the packaging in the tube itself. It's like a really dark blue, but on the lip, it's blue, but it's almost has that mystery play of like some other hint of color with this blue. So it's a kind of a different blue, but it's still very pretty. It's very comfortable on the lips, not sticky, not tacky as it claims. I think it is a good price for this liquid lipstick. It's $6.99 as is retail, which is really good. And I really like it. I do think, you know, other than a little bit of the patchiness there, I do I do see myself wearing this color. It is pretty. I think it goes nicely with this eye look. And it sits in my lip really fine. I will suggest you to foliate your lips before applying these liquid lipsticks, which I did, make sure you have no, like, dry lips or anything, like, dry, like, flaky or chapped skin on your lips. Make sure all of that is removed before applying this. And make sure your lips is completely dry. No, I will not encourage no lip balm or anything to put underneath it, unless it's just your preference. But to give that true, like, matte feel from this CoverGirl Milton pout lipstick you want your lips to be already dry it is a stunning shade i really like it and uh, what else would i say so i just really like that supermodel this is the name of this supermodel lipstick i want to try some of the others to see how i like it but i really like this shade and that pretty much covers everything from the four products from the CoverGirl line of new releases. So, oh, another thing I was going to mention about the lip. If you are someone who's concerned about um, it having some sheerness or anything to it when you apply it, sometimes you can just go in with a lip pencil, like a lip pencil that is already like a new color so it won't take away from the natural color of the actual liquid lipstick that you're applying 
and just try to use it that way. I almost kind of wonder what it would look like if you line and fuse your lip with a black um, lip liner and then put this color over to see if it would give more intensity. But it's pretty as it is. It's very dark. It's like a navy blue on me. And I do think it's really, it is pretty much true to the color, but it just looks a little bit more, I would say, almost like a royal blue or something in the tube. And on my lips, it looks more like a navy blue. Almost like, again, like a little hint of some other shade. Like I could almost feel like how, how peacock feathers are, there's like a little hint of green and with the blue of their feathers. So it kind of gives that feel to it. So I know I sound like I'm repeating myself. So that is my look for the day. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial of the CoverGirl products. Definitely check them out in your local Target, your Ulta, your Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, whatever dress store that is in your area. Maybe pick up one or two items just to check it out. To see how you like it. I definitely like everything that I reviewed today. And I've given my final thoughts. So again thank you for watching. And I hope that you will have a really nice day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.